Today I'm going to show you how to master the chess pass in basketball. There are only two ways to move the ball around the court outside of shooting. The first one is dribbling and the second one is passing. I believe that the chess pass is the most important kind of pass that every player needs to master. I'm Coach Charlie with Attack Basketball Academy. As premier basketball player development coach, I've trained thousands of players around the world on the techniques and tactics needed to be effective passers. So in this video today, I'm going to tell you why chess passes don't really exist. Next, I'm going to show you how to throw a chess pass according to one of the GOATs. Last, I'm going to show you three customized drills to quickly master the chess pass. And on top of that, I have a bonus that I'll give to you, but only if you stick around until the very end. Let's get right into why chess passes don't really exist. Because the chess can't catch. It's really an air pass. And you may hear a coach say, hit the player between the numbers. We get that from football because they may have two numbers like 88, 21. So you want to target the chess in a sense, right? We ball from different sports all the time, right? In basketball, but you're targeting the chess area, but it's really an air pass, like I said, right? So the chess pass don't exist. You want to target the ball around that chess area. And for me, to give you a bigger target than the chest itself, you want to target the ball at what I call your teammate's box. And their box, as I back up a little bit so you can see it starts from, say, one side of their body, left, or right side of their body, over to the left side. And this is that window you want to pass that ball in. So now when you're making that pass between the numbers, whether it's a single number or double number, now you have a, a larger target right, and to get that ball in the air. Now, I want to show you how to throw an air pass like one of the GOATs, greatest of all times, Michael Jordan himself. The way he described and the way I witnessed him pass the ball, okay, was flawless. He would keep his elbows out, thumbs firmly on the ball with his hands, Right, and I want to show you with no ball in hand. His elbows will go in, his arms go straight out, his thumbs will go down, his palms will go out, and that ball would be flawless. Me just marveling at how he made passes. Right, how he made passes, and notice how I'm passing this basketball in a straight line, and this ball's coming back to me every single time. That's the key to a great air pass. Elbows out, thumbs on the ball firm with hands, elbows in when you release it. Elbows out, elbows in. Thumbs down, palms out. Now that you know how to chest pass like MJ, I want you to come below with thumbs down and click the thumbs up to let us know you like this video. Go ahead and drop thumbs down in the comments below. Now I'm going to show you three customized drills to quickly master the chest pass. All right, now here are three customized ways I can quickly master the chest pass by myself. That's another thing I want you to keep in mind. Done in 20 seconds on this teaching point, you don't need a partner to work on passing. You just need a wall and imagination. Good to have those things, but you don't need it. Watch me. First stationary. Again, thumbs down, palms out, in a low athletic stance, passing the ball against the wall, right? Give me a little ricochet, picking different colors. I got gray up top, I got white in front of me, I got red, I got black, I got white low, right? Having some fun with it. See, I'm using that color scheme as I pass the basketball. I'm having target as I pass the ball in the air, right? Doing that stationary. Then I want to learn to do dribble pickups, meaning when I dribble the basketball, I want to pick the basketball up as quick as I can to pass the ball to my teammate that's open. So now I can use dribble moves, right? Basic pound dribble pass, smash it, use change of directions, catch it, right? Change of speed, just doing it stationary. As soon as I catch the basketball, working on moves that I actually will use in games and learn from the last smash, pick it up and get rid of it. Five, 
four, three, two, last one. Then I'll get on the move on that. Right? Keeping it simple. Imagine you making a drill move, stopping one, two. For training purposes, just kind of showing you, boom, one, two. Targeting different colors on the wall that might be representing a teammate hand that might be low, that might be high. Throwing the ball ahead. Use a spin move. Bang, great. One, two. Last one. Incorporating a dribble into it. And then now I want to use the backboard as I go into learning how to finish off of dribbling the basketball, throwing the ball off the backboard, air pass, and then going to go finish with it. Let's check it out. So I got this wall, right? So it's just kind of showing you. I can stay still, pass it, catch it as if I had a teammate pass me the ball and lift to a jump shot, right? I can go on a dribble move, pass it, catch it, go into a layup, okay, right? We're going to stationary passing. I'm going to pass the basketball to the wall like the GOAT. MJ, catch it, lift up and shoot. Make a quick three. Chest pass two. Step into it. That's two. One more coming up. Using the wall, my imagination. Boom. That's three. Like the goat himself. Swishes. Now I'm on the move with the dribble. I'm on the move with the dribble. Use the handle. Pass it. Catch it. Lay the ball up. Learning how to get used to a good hard pass. Right. Boom. Air pass. Catch it. Mix up how I finish around the rim. Here I go. Drill move. Boom. That's one. Hard pass, too. So I got to be ready when I make this pass on the wall to catch it and finish. That's two. Here's the last one. That's three. And there you have it. What I did stationary with elbows in, so elbows out, elbows go in, palms go down, palms go out, I could do on the move, right, without the basket. Then I can use the basket as if I throw off the wall, I catch it, and go to a game shot at game speeds. And that's how you learn how to master the chest pass. Let's keep the momentum going with that bonus I mentioned earlier. We've covered a lot in this video, and I want to really make sure I'm helping you out. So I would like to offer you a free guide that covers all the must-know basketball principles and in what switch to apply them. This is a powerful guide of best practice tips and skills empowering you to take charge of your game. So just click the link in the description below. You can download the guide I put together as my gift to you. Enjoy it and keep attacking.